Welcome everyone to another Tracks on Sundays. I'm Tracks the Max, and this is another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, today my setup is a little bit different. Uh, I didn't place the green screen and all that because I didn't really have time for it today. But I'm sure this is fine for one time, you know, whatever. Um, I probably will eventually be streaming the same way as well as you can see right now. This background, just this is my house, you know, it's my living room. So, um... Anyway, the new fusion is done, and it's time to get my butt back in here because I haven't been doing much of this, and, well, we have a long way to get this, uh, what's this guy's name, Quintus the Triumphant. So, let's dive right in and see if we can win some fights here. Um... I haven't been following too much. I did see the number one player was playing earlier today. He was streaming, actually, and he's going to be streaming tomorrow as well, which is today for you guys watching this. So if you want to see the number one player stream, uh, he's going to be doing that today on Sunday. So uh, this guy needs gold one. All right. I I can't imagine someone with this avatar still needing gold one. That is probably just never changed his name, I think. Or he played and then he quit and then he started playing again. All right, that's interesting. Um so what I'm doing first is Usually, I'm just looking for my Arbiter, and this is kind of like the three that I'm usually going for, because they never ban her. Well, actually, they do sometimes ban her, but when they don't ban her, she and she actually gets a turn, she does wreck a lot of teams. Um, they highly underestimate this six-star blessing on her. Um, that's interesting. So, I don't care at all about Hegemon here. Um, well, at least not with this team that I'm going to set up. Because I'm going to just throw in Necrit here. Um, I wonder what this fourth champion is going to be. But he already doesn't have... Like, we're already going to make sure he only has one support, right? Or no support. Huh. I think I want to get rid of Nishak here because she's in stone skin, she's in, uh, he's in stone skin, and he's in stone skin. And out of practice, I just know that this dude is super annoying if you don't bring a cleanser. So we're just gonna do that. Um, we don't need the attack bonus here because they're all squishy. So we'll just go, we'll run with this. Make sure that we have our attack up. And then I think this is gonna be super easy. You like, there's no strip for my Andy or my Duchess. Okay, he has one in stone skin too, but yeah, who cares, you know? Oh, look at that, one hit. One hit, boom, what's up? <laughs> what is up? Yeah, this this game is basically over unless no, I think it's gonna be over because hmm. Well, we'll see what happens here. Take out these. And just take out this guy. There you go. Hit him through the stone skin. Who cares, you know? Let's go. Next one. I was gonna do the buff and I was like, wait a minute. His stone skin is gone already. Gotta be careful with that stone skin. It's not a guarantee. Like, you can actually knock it off, right? And especially on these nukers. And he took quite a beating from uh, the Skull Crown first and then another AoE from Kandrafon. Like, yeah. I was lucky he had an attack buff, right? Because that basically made it so that I could double hit with Kandrafon's A1, which was nice. 
If I didn't have that double hit there, uh, I don't think I would have killed him, actually. But, uh... Yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Um, he's going for nukers first. Ray and Kandrafon. Kandrafon is probably, like, his only nuker, because you would not really take that into a duchess. Unless you're like, I'm gonna ban duchess anyway. Then, sure, you know. So here we go with our core again. These three. Um... It went so fast, but I hope you kind of saw how much damage she did just with a A1 counterattack. Counterattack. Remember that. That's 75% of the damage. Meaning, if that was 100% damage, they would have all been flat on the ground, right? Well, except for the stone skin dude. Uh, whatever his name is, I forget. The demon spawn dude. Um. So, Arbiter and Madame. Madame Ceres. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if we can just, like, speed... Speed run him. We go... Like her. Maybe take, like, a... A beast. Camp in here. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work out, but we'll see what the last pick is. Um, yeah, so we take out her. She loses attack buff then. He kind of does too, because he has to go in his form. And, wow. Okay. He's expecting to win the race with Lissandra? I don't think so. Oh! Damn, son. That is a very fast Lissandra, then. Alright. Did not expect that. But, yeah. Let's see it. Alright. Didn't expect that. Okay, he is 2009, though. I wonder how fast this chick is, actually. She must be, like... At least 370 or something. Alright. You got me. Did not expect that. I guess I should have went for Candrafauna. Would have had a chance, then. Kandrafon and Stoneskin, I think, is pretty decent. I know a lot of top players don't uh, don't like putting their champions into their nukers into Stoneskin, but yeah, most of them have like you know duchesses with bolster sets to protect their nukers uh, or Necred. Now I have a Necred too, but. Uh, maybe I should just use Necrod all the time. I don't know. But I try to kind of work, out, do some counterplay, I mean, with the opponent if I can, you know? So I'm trying to play, uh, what is it, reactively, you know, instead of proactive. Obviously, if you go first, you always... And I've... Is this the third time in a row now I'm going first? I think it is, actually. And what is with these Elos, dude? Like... I'm bottom silver 3, can I sometimes get like a silver 2 player or does it not work that way? I don't know. I'm genuinely curious if that is actually a thing or not. A Rotos and this one right here. I hate her. This is actually already a very annoying duo. Mm. Good thing about her is she always double hits, so Rhodos is a little less scary. However, Rhodos can just take away the killable, so that's a problem. Let's just, yeah, let's run with him. I mean, it is a counter, and like I said, we're trying to counter stuff here, so. I might actually just go without Reviver and go with a... What's his face here again? Come on, what, what you... Necred. Necrid. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit slow. I'm a bit slow. I just uh, took a, like a, like a two-hour nap before I came and do this. Apparently, I'm still 
in in nap mode. Ah, Yumiko, huh? Cool, cool, cool. How about that, a Yumiko? I don't. I don't want to keep Yumiko in this team. I'm gonna have to be fighting these two, 100%. Man. Dude, these two are so annoying. So annoying. I gotta get rid of Yumiko. I can't let her stay around. All right. We don't have attack buff, so I'm just gonna get the aura. At least we get a little attack up there. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one, man. Not sure about this one. Oh, he's just gonna wipe out Skull Crown. Oh, no, he has to attack this one, of course. My bad. He let you take. I was in my brain. I was already thinking he's gonna not ban Duchess and he's gonna ban UDK, but he doesn't ban UDK. All right. Hey, we might have a shot here actually. If we can get enough damage here, and then this guy can take a turn, we'll knock out. Oh baby, look at this. Boom! You you ain't coming back. All right. Put this up. Um, I guess just put this up for now. So he revives. He only gets one nuker back though. And we're just gonna try and take that nuker down again. Yeah, that doesn't do much when we're like this in this form. This guy is so underrated, man. Like, if you can, like, Necred, Necred and uh, Constantin have done so much for me in Arena. It's crazy. We can take this guy out. Oh, that was with like if that if we stole that strength, then he would have been dead. But oh well. Maybe I should have went for Arbiter. She probably was less tanky. want to try and make this as awkward as possible okay this could be he has a shield but damn it um well I guess take him out now he can get the fear off no we didn't get the fear off bummer we just kill you? No, we can't. Mm. All right. That's good. Can we taunt you? No. Oh, he's pretty fast. I guess this should leave this AoE for when I do have a... Uh, for when this attack down is gone, right? Yeah, now, now it's kind of problematic because these are all pretty slow. Uh, see what happens here. Can you stand? Maybe not, actually.
Um. Let's see if we can get him down. Okay, then we lose the taunt. That's what I was trying to do there. We taunt you? No, of course not. He doesn't have. It's like it's not like he doesn't have any accuracy. I don't know how much he has though. It's probably just not a lot. Okay, we don't have attack buff, but we didn't have that with the first one either. So let's see what this does. Not enough. Yeah, not enough. Uh, don't think this is gonna be winnable. Maybe if he would have landed his taunt, but um. Let's just get out of here. I was hoping that would land a taunt, you know, a provoke. I mean, I think then it was probably settled, but yeah, not not this way. Tuk Tuk driver, eh? What is that? In like in Pakistan, India? They have Tuk Tuks, I think. I'm I'm not sure really. I'm I'm guessing. I've never been in one before, so. Where is she? There. Alright, let's, um. Grab Arbiter. Let's do the same thing. See what he does about that. Okay, he doesn't want me to revive, and he brings a Staldos as well. Hmm. Not gonna lie, this is a, an odd team. It also really want, makes me want to bring this guy. So I'm just playing this guy now as, an, as a DPS, basically. I, I'll do that oftenly, actually. Just bringing this guy along as a DPS. Basher, huh? Do I care about Basher, really? I don't think so. I think I'll just ban this one. Yeah. And then I'll get resistance in all battle by 60. And maybe my Duchess can actually resist it then. But like even if even if she doesn't resist it. I think she no, oh, she doesn't resist it. I think she gets back to her abilities before he can kill me. At least that's what I'm hoping. Let's see here. So... Alright. Yeah, only A1. Don't care, really, you know. Fine. That's the cool thing about Skull Crown. That's what I really, really like about her. It's like, you don't care that much about Lockout. Like, you were going to A1 anyway. It's not like you were going to do anything else in A1, right? So. Uh, yeah. I think this game is over, bro. I don't see this guy coming back. Nah. Nah. See ya. All right. Next battle. Those are good ones. Nice and quick. I like the nice and quick ones. Even if I lose, it doesn't matter. Nice and quick. Move on, move on. Let's go, let's go. Got 10 battles I have to go through before... The like Dalek. I think this guy is Dutch. Dele Tom. So yeah, the Dutch's first pick. My Duchess isn't built very well, actually. I think I built her, like, when Stone Skin came out, and I may have changed one item or two items since then. Um, which, you know, that's not... Not too great, actually. So he has a Duchess too, so that makes Kandrafon a little less interesting. I've been thinking about when I'm supposed to bring in someone like a Molly, but it feels like Molly never really has a place 
in any of these games. Paris, huh? I think I found the, the guy I'm gonna ban. And Constantine here is good because he has two demons spawn already, so those are two that won't be able to, won't be able to come back. Constantine and Skullcrown are also my only two void nukers, really. Well, no, that's not true. Uh, I do uh, I do have this guy with a Supreme Kale, but he's uh he doesn't. Ha oh wow, you really have both of those. All right. He went for Skull Crown. What the hell? That is, I think that's wrong. That is 100% wrong. Um, and I'm gonna be ballsy here. I'm just gonna go extra attack because I don't think he's gonna be faster than my um, than her. Actually, it's more attack because of her aura, um, her blessing, right? So yeah, let's see what this does. But I think. If we can knock this guy out, he just can't win, right? I don't think he knows what Constantin does. Yeah, I'm not really too scared about this. Yeah, like I thought. Oh, dude, if you have weekend, it's over. GG. Oh, he cleanses, okay. But it doesn't matter, look. Boom. Game over. I'm just autoing now. Let's target you. Opponent left. <laughs> That's what I thought. Alright, five battles left and 32 minutes. Gold Crown was definitely not what you wanted to, to pick there, I don't think. Hmm. But, then again, it's easy to judge afterwards, you know. <laughs> I make thousands of mistakes when I'm playing this mode, okay? So it's not like I'm an expert or anything. Otherwise, I wouldn't have this weak-ass rank anyway. But, um... So also, why am I picking Duchess and Arbiter the whole time? And, like, why don't I pick Pytheon or Uko? Or... I don't know, Kaimar or, um, here, Elva or something? Why, why am I picking these two constantly? Well, because... Oh, a bomb team. Okay, so I have I have a, a crazy strategy against bomb teams. What I do is just, I go full ham on the cleansers and I'm like, yo, bring it. Bring it. Like, these two, if they, they're allowed to stay, uh, there's no way he kills me. Like, ever. Well, well let's knock on wood. Like, he has to pick a nuker here. If he doesn't pick a nuker, well, actually, he has to pick two. All right, th this is over. This is over. Um, yeah, look. We just do something like this. Very silly. We ban this one. And we don't care about the bombs here. We just cleanse everything. This is what I do against full, full bomb teams. Because um, I just haven't found a way to deal with them. You know? there's That's that's literally it. I haven't found a, a better way to deal with them than actually going ham on the cleanses. So... It's lame. But I think bomb, bombs are kind of lame too. Especially this guy, this Nishak. He's just stupid. The, the fact that every bomb turns into a poison is just retarded, man. It's so stupid. But uh, let's see what happens here. Kimmy might strip some stuff. So if we, So our goal now is just we kill Arbiter and then we just pick off the rest. That's basically it. The Ryo is pretty cool too. Like she places the bombs back on them. I love that. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, and Mithrala just never can really be 
Well, never. I'm not going to say never, but hard for Mithrala to actually get bombed. All right. One goes down already. That's fine. We have more. We'll... Hmm. Yeah, we'll pick it back up. We will cleanse. And now we do this kind of stuff. Boom. Arbiter doesn't get a turn. She has an AoE A1 as well. Ah, uh, boom. See? It's so funny. Rat just kills himself. With a Ryo. Alright. What you got? What you got? Alright. AoE. Now they turn to stone if they attack me. Oh, well. Should have a chance at least. Well, she's going to be stone for sure. But I think he tried to do that so that she has like this. Um. Yeah, let's just cleanse. Doesn't matter. It's fine. Now you put block buffs on. We should probably try and kill this guy now, I think. Since he didn't turn to stone. And she just used her. Um. Her res. Ah, we turned to stone. Okay, then we go for her. It's fine. We also have brimstone on her. See, so it speeds up this process. I've done this tactic a couple of times, and it it has actually worked every single time except one. But in that fight, uh, we just kept on going, both of us, and um, eventually my opponent quit. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm not quitting, dude. I was. I mean, I was fine with taking a loss against... Like, I hate bomb teams so much, that's why I do this. I just troll them this way. But yeah. I know a lot of people probably think this is toxic or whatever, but... I don't... I don't see using a specific tactic as being toxic. Not even if you're like, I'm gonna just put four... Revivers in or something like if that's what you want to do that. I mean, you're not gonna win much that way, you know, so you're just Cucking yourself basically if you do that And that's why I don't really care about it, you know, like do whatever you want to do really Um, Just make sure he dies Give everyone a nice Nice buff some of them are protected. She's in a protection set so Resisted, resisted, yeah. You don't have accuracy up, you shouldn't be trying that, man. Definitely not on Mithrala, at least. But that means he doesn't have a lot of ac um, accuracy, either. Because my Duchess isn't really built... Well, she has resistance, but it's not like crazy resistance. It's like... I don't know. 600 or something? But nothing insane. Yeah, this, this this match is really over. I mean, just slowly bleeding to death, this guy. Let's just take out Arbiter now, because it's been enough with the revives. AoE. More poisons. There we go. That's what you want to see. That Ryo. Yeah. Now it's over. GG. Auto. Yep. See ya. There you go. Thought you had to deal with the double bomb team. Just play cleansers. The thing is, they're always so... Um... So squishy. Right? And your cleansers are always... You know, most cleansers are also healers. Right? So, all you do is just tick back damage, tick back damage, tick back damage. Eventually, they'll die. As long as you have a reviver to bring people back, it doesn't matter. Just keep ticking down their life total. They can't get life total back. Well, I guess they could get a little back from Arbiter in this case, but 
that's like what one time every three turns that Arbiter takes. Meh. Just kill Arbiter, right? And if you have a Ryo, like that thing is insane. She's insane for that tactic. I think she, like these two together, maybe necessary for that to work. I'm not completely sure. Maybe like um, Wither in a stun set or something. But um, yeah, I uh, well, didn't need to do that. Uh, I love that tactic. I really do. It's it's brainless and it's effective. You know. Just the way you want it. It's it's kind of like when someone takes an Uko, you take more to Macabre, you know? You don't even think about it. It's just like, ah, you take him, I take him. Boom. Shut down. All right, this is interesting. Because he went, he goes through our stone skin, yeah? So I guess I want a Necrit as well. And I, I'll take Constantine here. Because, well, if Constantine can kill him, I think I have to get rid of Necrid, yeah. <clears throat> oh, he takes out Arbiter. That's interesting. I didn't expect that, actually. In that case, I will definitely be going with more attack. Um, yeah, hopefully Trunna doesn't stun our Skull Crown. That would be sad. Counterattack. Boom. Oh, if that was this one instead, dude. That would have been perfect. <laughs> but alright, let's see what happens here. Okay, what you got for me? Killing Duchess, that's good. I mean, good news for you at least. Ooh. Damn. Yeah, no, that's over. I'm not gonna not gonna bother with that. Yeah, GG. I should have banned Georgia. See? There you have it. But I think, um Yeah. Banning uh Necrid. I think that's overall the better idea. I'm slowly building my Dark Elhane, or Supreme Elhane. I don't know if she's in here somewhere yet. Ah, you can see right here, she's only 56. Uh, there's a Basher in there, growing too. Maybe I'll try him out one day. And I wonder if this guy is, does anything for Arena. Because people say he acts like a Vogoth. So maybe just load up tons of HP on him or something. Maybe put him in a bolster set. Um, make him be annoying that way. Could be, could be fun. He also has a provoke on a three turn cooldown, which is nice. And AOE A1, AOE A2 with a max damage, uh, max HP damage as well. So you don't really have to build damage on him. He just kind of has it built in. Yeah, I'm not sure what route I'm going to go with him yet, but I have been thinking about maybe bringing him into Arena just to troll people a little bit. You know, that's what I like to do. I don't like to do all the stuff everyone's always doing. Let's see. So, a lot of undead and stuff again. So, he is going to be very good again. Um... I think I just want to get rid of Rotos, to be fair. Yeah. I'm just gonna get rid of Rotos. Especially if this is gonna be like a safety or something. Then definitely Rotos is going. Hmm, that's a weird ban. Wonder if... Man, do people not know what Constantin does? That's crazy, dude. Like, just really scared of... Me going first, I guess. I mean, 
granted my arbiter has three star okay in this elo that is kind of kind of high because usually champions only have like one or two star but now let's see what happens man What hap- what? I don't know what this champion does. Why does he have no health left? Counterattack, boom. Oh, that's actually not, not great for us. <laughs> Kinda need him to be alive. Bro. Okay, GG. Yeah, that, that l I guess he doesn't have that. Maybe it's a second account or something, because it says two, right? But it felt like you didn't really have great gear on there. I don't know. I'm going to pick Duchess, confirm, and then I'm going to get a drink real quick. Be right back. What did he pick? What did he pick? Uh, looks like we can just do what we always do. There you go. Yeah, if you're not playing um, attack-based nukers... Oh, that's what I was talking about a, a little while ago. Why I'm always taking Arbiter and I'm taking Duchess is because they're my only ones with attack up, right? Um, there's only one other champion I can play that has an attack up, and that is uh, Mithrala. So if I don't have her, I kind of need Mithrala to go along. Yo. I think Dragon Bane's gonna go. Pretty sure he's gonna go. Alright. I really don't really... I mean... I guess Fogoth is annoying with her. Maybe I do ban Fogoth, actually. Yeah, let's ban it. Let's ban Fogoth. That's annoying. Okay, he's not going to be faster, so again, we just take this here, get the extra bonus. You got to play this smart, right? You see a team like this, you know you're going to be faster, so why do you need the speed aura? You don't need it. You see? We're faster. Ooh, we did get our buff removed. That sucks, though. All right. He has a two-turn stone skin. That also kind of sucks. Oh no! All right, never mind. Damn, Salta smacked. Okay, underestimated. GG. Man, I was contemplating uh, using more two in that spot. Maybe I should have. Valk, huh? Are you going Siffy? Hmm. I don't know about Skull Crown here. I think Skull Crown may be wrong. Then the question is, who should we be using? And I honestly don't know. Oh, well, my time's ticking, so I should figure it out. I think Mithrala is kind of good. Oh, I don't want her. Uh, where is you?
So this is again gonna be a kind of weird team I'm playing, but hmm, all right. I'm just gonna ban Valk. I thought a Siffy was gonna come out, and then I wanted to ban Siffy, but if he's gonna be using Rotos and no Siffy, then Valk's gonna go. This is a very weird team I drafted, but I'm just wasn't really sure what to pick here. All right. Got rid of this one anyway, huh? Yeah. Um, if you guys are enjoying this kind of content on my Saturday evening, leave a thumbs up or a comment or something. So I know I have to work on this some more because yeah, Arena isn't for everyone. Not everyone really likes to battle other players or even likes to watch people battling other players. So, you know, good to know if you guys like this kind of stuff or not. Also, my account isn't very, uh, you know, it's not a, it's not like a big Papa Drock account or Golden Saito or whatever his name is, uh, you know, it's it's kind of minimal, but that kind of does lead into maybe the more average player, I guess. So if you're maybe thinking to yourself, oh, I can't do anything in arena. Well, sure you can. Everyone can do something in arena. I even play arena on my free to play. It's fine. You know, you just work with whatever you have. And if you lose, you lose. It doesn't really matter if you're really scared that you're not going to. Oh. I think we lost this, yeah. Except both revivers in one shot this Rotos. Damn it. Well, we have one shot here. This one shot is Um Damn. I really wanted her to go first, but now I have to do this. No, never mind. We out. All right. Uh, nine minutes left. That was it, though, right? Do we play some more? What do we do actually now? So, one, two, three, four, five. So five wins, five loss. That's kind of where I'm sitting all the time. Like I'm at fifty-three percent win rate. So, I. Don't have as many battles as a lot of these players, though. Uh, 2,560. Wow. Oh, are they going for it? 2,400. Yeah, that's cool, man. I'm glad, I'm glad they finally put this in here. Now they just need something where you can add friends and you can do, like, little tournaments and stuff, you know? That'd be, that'd be great. Then you really have something to work towards and, um, yeah, try to be the best or try to win some turn tournaments or, you know, you could also have like these, um, silver three only or, or silver only tournaments or whatever bronze tournaments or yeah, just that kind of fun stuff or, but yeah, um, that's going to be it for today, I think. Just a little chilling on the Saturday today. Um, we, we got the Newt Fusion ready to go here. We just need to level these up, level him up to 50, and then we'll fuse Newt on our CVC this Tuesday to get the 30,000 extra points. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if it's a... Let me see real quick. Did they announce it yet? Wait, they did do something. New activities will start counting towards clan versus clan tournaments. Victories in the Sand Devil. Victory in the Iron Twins. Oh, wow, finally. Victories in Phantom Shogun. Victories in Live Arena. Oh, that's cool. 
obtaining perfect souls, ascending artifacts and accessories. Yeah, like all those things, I was always like, why do they not give us points? They should give us points. Please note that those activities will not grant CVC points, at least during the next CVC tournament, which will feature personal rewards, by the way. All right, so there you have it. Save your newts if you, you know, if you can wait, you can be calm and uh, you'll get 30,000 extra points on Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, again, if you like this kind of content, please like and leave a comment down below and I'll try and do some more of this kind of stuff, you know. Hope you guys have a nice week and catch you guys next week. Peace.